The stars are right, and that means it's time for another episode of The Whisper in Darkness. I'm your host, the man from Ling. Thank you very much for joining me today. On this episode, we are continuing with the Mark Harrigan campaign, the soldier from the Path to Carcosa Deluxe expansion. He has already completed the House Always Wins and Extracurricular Activity. After Extracurricular Activity, we... Uh, Spend three experience points to, to purchase Keen Eye. Now, I haven't been uh, all that high on this card uh, in the past. I find it uh, pretty expensive to use with any frequency, but in uh, the Miskatonic Museum, which we're doing today, the uh, investigation is the name of the game, not fighting, so we are going to need all the investigation we can get our hands on. We also added Dr. Henry Armitage, and we saved three experience points. Uh, hopefully to purchase, I've had worse, uh, a copy or two of that coming up. We are doing the Miskatonic Museum. Here's a brief summary of what's happened so far in the campaign. Uh, we did defeat the experiment in the extracurricular activity, and we rescued Dr. Henry Armitage. So we are set up and ready to go here. With the Miskatonic Museum, we have Mark Harrigan. With Sophie, his indebted, which means he starts with two for your resources, and Kenai, the permanent, in play. Mark Harrigan starts in play at the museum entrance. It's a three shroud location with two clues. And uh, investigators at the museum entrance cannot gain resources, and it has the resign action. Eh, how important can a book really be anyway? That's uh basically sums up Mark Harrigan's thoughts quite succinctly. He's a, he's a fighter, not a reader. So if we do find that book, it's going to get burnt. That is for sure. There's also the, also the museum halls, which are locked. Uh, but we can do a strength 5 uh, or a combat 5 test to attempt to break down the door to the museum and immediately advance to Act 1B. Uh, I think uh, Mark might go that route, depending on uh, what we draw in our opening hand. Our agenda is restricted a access. It is a uh, has a five doom threshold, and our act is 1A, finding a way inside. You need two clues to advance, or as I said, you can break down the door. We are playing the Miskatonic Museum on standard difficulty. The skull is a minus one, minus three instead if a hunting horror is at your location. The uh, cultist is a minus one, and if you fail, you search the encounter deck discard pile and void for the hunting horror and spawn it. The tablet is minus two. Return one of your clues to your, to your current location, and the elder thing is a minus three. If you fail, discard an asset you control. We have not added any tablets or elder things to the, to the chaos bag so far, so we will not have to worry about those in this game. We are ready to draw our opening hand. We're going to be looking for basically all the investigate we can get our hands on. That means uh, copies of perception, evidence, flashlights, and whatnot, uh, so we don't have to rely on Sophie too heavily during this scenario. I don't expect to have much trouble killing the hunting horror uh, should it rear its ugly head. So let's see what we get. There's Shell Shock, our signature weakness. There's a Colt. There is an Evidence. An Unexpected Courage. Another Unexpected Courage. A Guts. What a crappy hand. Holy cow. We'll pitch the Shell Shock to see what we get first. There's a Dodge. Well, I don't really like uh, I don't really like any of these cards. How do we end up with six cards in our hand? I think we draw one too, drew one too many. Anyway, we're just going to pitch these. We'll keep the uh, the Colt and the uh, evidence. We'll draw three more. There's a perception. There is home front, our signature event, and a machete. So we did not get much in the way. Well, we did get, we got an evidence and a perception. So we technically, we could go the, uh, 
we could try to investigate, although that would be two tests, and I would rather save my skills. I think I'd rather save my uh, evidence and perception for actually investigating once I get inside the museum. So we shall see. I think we're ready to begin. So uh, actually, that home front is going to come in super handy right now because uh, we're going to bash down that door. And it's a five versus five, but we've got home front to add four, four combat icons to our test. So we're at a nine. That's awesome. There's a skull. That's fine. That's a minus one. So we uh, easily break down the door in one shot. So if we are successful, we immediately advance to Act 1B. So we will go get that now. Uh, well, we've got to flip this over first. Flip. Come on, flip button work for me here. There we go. All right, gaining an entrance is Act 1B, and uh, if the investigator successfully per performed the action ability on the museum halls to advance, the door leading to the museum halls is broken. Reveal the museum halls, act, and advance to Act 2A, breaking and entering. We will do that now. Breaking and entering has uh, no... We don't need any clues, but we do need to... Uh, if an inv investigator enters the exhibit hall, the restricted hall, we do get to advance. Now, the question is, we could actually get off to a flying start here. Come on. Flip over. Oh, brother. There we go. The museum halls is a true shroud location with zero clues, and uh, it has the action investigators in the museum hall spend one clue as a group to put the top card of the exhibit deck into play unrevealed. So I think what we might do, we have two actions left. We could grab these, try to grab these two clues, which would put us in a pretty good position to get a flying start at the museum halls. So I'm going to try that now. Uh, I'm going to spend the two resources. Do I want to do that? No, we're not going to spend resources on Kenai yet. We're going to save them because I want to put a gun down just in, or my machete down just in case the, uh, the hunting horror makes an early appearance in this game. So we will discard the perception. And we're going to hit Sophie up for a damage to draw a card. There's Brother Xavier. He's nice to see. That is a, uh, we are at a 2, 4, 6 versus 3 for that clue. Let's see how we do. There's a 0. So we do gain a clue and a card. There's a shortcut. Wow, nice. That is awesome because we could use that to, uh, if we do manage to grab this clue, we could just move to the museum halls and gain a resource next turn. So let's try that. We will, once again, we're going to hit Sophie up for two, discard our evidence for two more. So it is another six versus three. Oh, there's the elder sign, or the tentacle, of course. So we do not get off to the start that I was hoping, unfortunately. That's a bit of a bummer. I had uh, grand grand plans to grab that other clue and uh, head into the museum. Now, the question is, I think the pickings are actually easier in the museum, but uh, do I move or do I stay? That is the question. Three is pretty tough because it'd be a four versus three is the best we could do versus that sp spot. I think we're going to play our shortcut and we're going to move in. 
and gain a resource and a card at the end of our turn. There's an emergency aid. Nice. Very nice. We'll add a doom and we will draw our first encounter card, which is, oh, this one. This is bad news for, for Mark. Ephemeral exhibits test three. If you fail, lose one action for each point you fail by. This is a huge uh, problem for him. He's a two versus three and uh, it doesn't get much better. I'm not going to pitch anything to that. Chaos Bag gives us a skull, so we're a one. So we lose two actions this turn. Wow, that is uh, bad news. Well, we will take our one action this turn to put our machete into play. And uh, that'll be it, I'm afraid. Be nice to get Brother Xavier down as well here. So we'll draw a card. There's another shortcut. Nice. And a resource. Add a doom. Second encounter card. Cursed luck. Oh dear. Minus one to our skills. That's going to make investigating even harder for Mark. This could be a very difficult uh, scenario for Mark to, uh, to, uh, to achieve uh, a good result. Nevertheless, we will take our first action. We're going to spend that one clue to pull out our first exhibit hall. And we really need a flashlight at this point. So we are going to, let's draw a couple. There's a 32 Colt, and there's our smoking pipe. No help there. We will draw another card. There's a Perception. Okay. We'll gain a resource, add a Doom. And our next encounter card is... Oh, that was what I was worried about. Pushed into the beyond. Choose and shuffle a non-story card asset you control. Discard the top three, and if it's discarded, I take couple of horror. So my machete goes away. And I discard three. Oh, there's a flashlight and Henry Armitage and my prepared for the worst. So really bad. Uh, we lost one of our flashlights there. That is uh, an extremely bad turn of events. So do we bother moving? We have one perception. I think we will. We will move to the exhibit hall. It is the Hall of the Dead. It has two clues and a, th a three shroud location with two clues. And after you fail a skill test while investigating this location, you take a horror. So that is going to be pretty severe. Uh, we really need an easier skill test than that. I think we'll move back, actually. And we will go one, two, we'll go to the security office. There we go. There's a slightly easier place. Two shroud location with one clue. Search the top six cards of your deck for a card and add it to your hand. Shuffle the rest back into your deck. Uh, so we will have to do that next turn. Maybe we can find our other flashlight. But we will draw a card, a vicious blow. Not a great help in this scenario. We add a doom and we draw another encounter card, which is another push into the beyond. Um, so that is, uh, that's going to whiff, actually, because we don't have any assets that can't be uh, discarded. Sophie can't leave play, indebted, and uh, keen eye are permanent. 
So those will all stay. Doesn't happen very often that the encounter deck whiffs, so I'm always happy when uh, that happens. We are at the security office. Now the question is, do we take the two actions to get our flashlight, get it down? Because it's going to be hard to break this uh, this cursed lock. I think we're going to try, though. We will... Oh, I hate pitching a perception to this, but we'll pitch a perception and we're going to take a damage for Sophie. Draw a card. There's another vicious blow. So that's going to put us at a 5 versus 2. See what we get from the encounter from the, the chaos bag. It's a skull, so that's a minus one. So we do succeed. We get rid of the curse luck, which was going to be a real pain in our pain in the ass. We'll put, we'll gain that clue. We draw a card with the perception. There's an evidence. Okay, that's nice. That is nice to have. And we should probably get something down. We've seen two pushed into the beyond, so I don't think we're going to see another anytime soon. Uh, what was that? That was the first action. We've got two more. I'm going to take that act, the double action, to search the top six. We really. We're going to look at all the cards. Whoops, not all the cards. Well, we can take a look at the top six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The, uh, sadly, our flashlight was not in the top six. So we will not get to take it, but we can take something else. Uh, pff, boy, oh boy. Nothing I really want. We'll take the, uh, emergency cache, I guess. Close that up and shuffle. Uh, we're going to get a card and a resource. And uh, we have to discard three cards. Ah, yuck. Uh, we're going to keep the guts and that. We're going to pitch the vicious blow. Uh, we're going to pitch that and one copy of the Colt. Did we... Uh, no, we did not. So we are advancing this turn. Okay. Add a Doom. We flip to a creature of the void. If the hunting horror is in play, add one doom to it. If the hunting horror is not in play, search the encounter deck, discard pile void, etc. For the hunting horror and spawn it in the museum halls, shuffle the encounter discard pile into the deck. So we need to go get our hunting horror. To start... This is a pretty fun s can be a pretty fun scenario if you just try to evade the hunting horror all the time. Uh, I've done that with a couple of other investigators and just played cat and mouse with it the whole game, and that can be pretty uh, a pretty enjoyable way to play this scenario. Uh, shuffle everything into the deck. The hunting horror goes up here. He's a 2-3-2 two, two hunter with retaliate. He only does one damage and one horror, though, so he's b he's he's a cream puff. Uh, we shouldn't have much trouble taking him down. Uh, it would be nice, though, to be able to use our evidence if we could. Uh, we could pull him. Well, two, three versus two. We could evade him. Or we could move, play our shortcut to drag him 
over to the exhibit hall. Play, move, drag, kill, gain resource. No, we can't kill him in a, well, we could kill him in a turn with the vicious blow and something. And we'd get a clue out of it. It's not a bad, it's a lot of, a lot of cards though for one, one uh, clue. Hmm. Tough choice, tough choice. So if we play our 32, we could play the 32 for three, move, Hunting Horror engages us. We play shortcut to move to the exhibit hall. We have one action left, which we use to kill the Hunting Horror and play evidence to get a clue out of it. Sounds like a plan. We do need an encounter card first though, so that could change things. It is a twist of fate. Reveal random token from the chaos bag. I've been doing pretty well at this one lately. Let's see if we can keep up our string of good luck. There is a zero. So, is zero a positive number? It's a good question. Plus one is a positive number. Zero is, I guess, a positive number? Hmm. Well, I'm not sure. I'm going to take a damage. I'll draw a card, too. For that, there's a machete. Uh, machete might actually be a better choice than the, uh, the Colt. So we will do... Two, three, three for the machete. We will move to the museum halls, engaging the hunting horror. We will play our shortcut to move to the first exhibit hall, the uh, Hall of the Dead. Get rid of that token. We will attack the, as our final action, we will attack the Hunting Horror. We are a 5-6 versus 2. We will play the Vicious Blow to make ourselves 7 versus 2. We easily kill the Hunting Horror. It heads off to the Void. And we will use our evidence use a resource to play evidence to gain a clue. Now, where did we, oh yeah, we gained that clue there. Okay, so we have a clue. We've got two clues. So we can, that means we can bring out our next two exhibit halls, which would, uh, were, would theoretically be one away from pulling out the restricted hall and if we get the restricted hall, then we get the uh, our friendly uh, museum curator who helps us a great deal with investigating. I think he gives us plus two. But that will be the end of our turn, so we will draw a card. There's the flashlight. Okay, now we're cooking. We will gain two resources, or a resource, sorry. Add a Doom and draw an Encounter card. There's another Twist of Fate. So we are at, uh, let's see what we get this time. There's a Cultist, that's going to be two Horror. Those are going to start to add up quickly. However, We do want to, now, oh, we're such a, oh, we do have an emergency cage. Let's play that first. Gain three resources, so we can play our flashlight for two. And we're going to play our emergency aid for two to heal two damage. Okay. 
So cache that, that. Okay, that was that turn. Boy, turns go fast when you're... Another emergency cache. Now, of course, the uh, the killer here will be uh, beyond the veil. If we draw that, we're, we're hooped, I think. We will add a doom. Draw an encounter card. Oh, there's... Stalked in the dark. If a hunting horror is in play, it attacks. Otherwise, it gains surge. Fair enough. Surges into visions of future past. Test five willpower. We are at three willpower. Now, I'm going to play the guts. So we are at three, four, five versus five. Or do I want to play the guts? That's a good question. We're at six. If we fail this, we can ditch all the cards in our deck to reshuffle before we get tagged by Beyond the Veil. I think that's a better plan. Because if we draw it Beyond the Veil anytime soon, we are going to die. Uh, I don't have the... I only have seven... 8, 9, 10, and that won't be enough. I don't have the health currently to survive it, so we're just going to go straight up, I think. 3 versus 5. That's a 0, so we're going to discard 2 cards. There's our emergency aid and our true grit. So now we really don't have uh, any chance of passing this. So we are going to have to play a little conservatively, a little more conservatively, I think, than I'd like. Uh, I'm going to just draw three cards. We're going to restock the hand. And then we'll draw another card. So we will reshuffle, take a horror. That will protect us from uh, Beyond the Veil for the time being. Gain a resource, add a Doom. Whoops. Too many. There we go. We draw an encounter card. Arcane Barrier. All right. That's okay. That's a four. So we'd be a five versus four if we pitch our guts, but we're not going anywhere at the time being. So we will finally get around to doing some investigating here. Uh, we will use one of our resources, or one of our supplies, off the flashlight to make this a one. A shroud one. And we will... God, that's so expensive. Spend two resources to give ourselves plus one until the end of the turn. So it's a one and we are a three. We are a one versus three. Do we pitch a card to draw? Yeah, I think we do. We are a five versus one. We'll take a damage and draw a card. There's a shortcut. What's the chaos bag say? Zero, so we weren't in any real danger. We do get that c clue though, so that's nice. That was our first action. Second action, we're gonna move. Yeah, we'll just do that. Pitch the guts. So we are going to be at uh, 3, 4, 5 versus 4 for the move. We get a plus 1. Wow. Clear the arcane barrier. And we're going to use one of our... Uh, we'll spend a clue at the museum halls to bring out one of our... Another one of the exhibit halls. 
or sorry, at the we're at the museum halls. We'll bring out an exhibit hall. Uh, we draw a card. There's another one of those. That's nice. Uh, what do we pitch? Pitch the gun. Gain a resource. And add a doom. Draw a card. Counter card is Crypt Chill. Uh, I think actually, yeah, we did pass, so we need one more card here. There's a perception. Uh, what do we pitch for that? I think we really need to get more sanity down, or we're going to be in run into trouble. Uh, we need to pitch another card. What's this guy got? He's only got a one. So killing him only gets us a one. Okay, we need to, well, we can pitch a copy of Brother Xavier. What are we talking about here? That's an easy choice. Okay, Crypt Chill. It's a four, and we're a three. And we're going to have to discard an asset. It's another tough choice. Uh, three versus four. Don't like our odds there. We're just going to take it. Minus two, we fail. We'll pitch the machete. need to keep our flashlight. Uh, I'm going to take... God, we just need to get some... I'm dead if we hit another one of those, so I'm going to... Another twist of fate, so I'm going to add three resources and play Brother Xavier. five and then we're going to uh, pitch a clue to get one more location on the table okay so we can start checking locations here after the next one <sighs> all right Draw a card. There's Shell Shock. We're going to take. Oh, oh, lucky we did that. We uh, get to horror, so we'll throw that on uh, Brother Xavier. Thank goodness we had him out. Gain a resource. We'll add a Doom. And draw a card. There's Beyond the Veil, so we were uh, smart to play that. That surges. Ah! hate this thing. Ephemeral exhibits two versus three. Well, we're just going to test it straight up. Oh, that was a minus four. Glad I didn't pitch anything to that. So, uh, we're at a zero, so we're losing all of our actions next turn. So we just go to next turn. We'll draw a card, gain a resource, and add another doom. And we draw an encounter card. Passage into the Veil. Test three willpower. This test has plus two. Otherwise, we have to discard top five cards of our deck or take one direct damage and deal one damage to each of our allies. Okay, that's not terrible. So I'm just going to take the test straight up. That's three, three. 3-3 three, three it is, and we get plus one. Hey, sometimes you get lucky. <laughs> sometimes you get lucky and pass these things, even though you have no no uh, business doing it. All right, we are going to... Uh, so the Hunting Horror is coming back next turn, I believe. So we'll pitch that to... 
pitch a clue to bring out another another uh, exhibit hall. We're going to gain a resource and then pitch three to put out a machete. And we're going to play one shortcut. So we can move here. It is the restricted hall. We get uh, incredibly lucky here. So that was nice. It's a three shroud location with two clues. And it cannot be investigated while uh, the hunting horror is in play. Unfortunately, we do uh, flip this to uh, the guard's fate. So we choose an investigator to take control of the set-aside Harold Wallstead. So we have to go find Harold. Where is Harold? Where did I put Harold? Is he in this pile? Yes, he is in this pile. All right, we found Harold. He does give us a plus two investigate, so that's awfully nice. Um, and while he leaves, when he leaves play, we remove him from the game and add a uh, tablet token to the chaos bag for the remainder of the campaign. So we don't want to do that. And uh, we search the encounter deck, discard pile, and void, and all play areas for the hunting horror, and place it in the exhibit hall, ready. So it goes here, and because... Uh, because this thing is on, Shadows Deepen is on the table, uh, when it enters play, we attach the shadow spawn to it. So the uh, hunting horror, uh, well, nothing really. It doesn't actually get anything because of that, because there are no resources on it. So, uh, yeah. So no big deal. Okay, well, that was our well, that was actually our fourth action because we played our, our buddy uh, shortcut here. So we are going to take some damage and horror from this guy. Fortunately, we do have Brother Xavier out. So he will absorb the, the hit. And that will be it, I think. Okay, is that all? That is all. Fair enough. Okay, so we get a card. There's a dodge. Okay, so we can basically dodge the hunting horror for as long as we want at this point. Uh, we'll gain a resource and add a doom, which will flip us. Flips us to hunt it down if the hunting horror is in play, add a doom to it. So it gets a doom. And that's basically it. So we advance to every shadow. It has a doom threshold of seven. So what we can do here, we have to actually put our other act in play. We do that now. So if an investigator enters the exhibit hall, uh, oh, that was the wrong one. That's the other one if you do it that way. There we go. So we're searching for the tomb. If there are no clues remaining in the exhibit hall, restricted hall, we advance. So we need to draw an encounter card, first of all. 
It's another crypt chill. Jeez, these crypt chills are pain in the butt. Uh, but we are a four versus four because we have Brother Xavier out. Now, what could we lose? We could use the flashlight if necessary. Uh, we could. No, I do want to play that actually. Okay, we're going to go four versus four. Not great odds, but we get a minus four, so I'm glad we didn't pitch anything. I think we're going to have to lose the flashlight there. Unfortunately, keep Harold in play. So we need to kill this hunting horror. We're a six versus two, and we are hitting it for two damage. That's fine by me. Let's draw. That's a zero, so he will take two damage. And we'll smack him again for another two damage. So he gets knocked out of play. Doom goes away. Shadowed Spawn does not, so he's going to come back bigger and angrier next time around. Uh, but we do have If It Bleeds, which we can use. I'm going to play that, actually. Play If It Bleeds to get rid of a horror here. Okay, now we've got a choice to make. Is it worth it to go back and try to investigate some of these other locations in order to maximize our VPs? Or do we just take the two VPs that we're getting this game and run with them? That is a very good question. We are investigating for a four versus three. And we have a perception. Uh, do I get greedy? How many cards do I have left? I have 17 cards left, so I do have some flexibility. If these are both VPs, I could get one, two, three, four. Most I could get would be four without spending more clues. Four versus two. Uh, I don't know. If I take two, that'll give me five. If I get three, that would be six. If I want to buy... if. Um, that one, I've had, if I want to buy I've had worse, that's a four, so I'd have two left. Two left for the Essex County Express wouldn't be bad. Um, shoot. Yeah, we're going to take a risk. We're going to move back. We'll move back to the museum halls. We're going to draw a card. There's a flashlight. All right. And gain a resource. Add a doom. And draw an encounter card. Oh, that's a bad spot for that one. That is a very bad spot for that one. OK, that changes the math quite a bit. Ooh. Okay, I think our plan of getting another VP here just went up in smoke with this because 
if I fail any number of tests, I'm going to take a ton of, I'm going to lose a ton of cards off my deck since this thing's in the museum halls, which I'm going to have to crisscross a whole bunch of times if I want to get any more VPs. So I think what we'll do, we'll play the shortcut. We are going to go four versus four, thanks to uh, Brother Xavier. And let's see what the encounter, the chaos bag says. It's a minus two, so we fail. We lose the top five cards. One, two, three, four. Ah, I hate to lose the perception. Five. Okay, so we move to the restricted hall. We've got three actions. We are investigating at a four versus three. We can pitch our perception to make that a six versus three. Oh, no, 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 chaos bag. That's not what we want. That's not what we want. That is a failure. Shoot. All right. Well, we're going to go four versus three. We get two more shots at it, so we get four versus three. That's a failure. And we got it once. So we got one clue out of the deal. Draw a card. Well, there's the guts we could have used. I always draw the guts after after I could have used it. Gain a resource, add a doom, and let's see what we get for encounter cards. It is, oh no. Oh no. That is terrible. Obscuring fog. Oh, jeez, what a terrible card to draw. Okay, well. We are going to have to get our. Uh, that's gonna. Yeah, we're just gonna have to get us. So we will play our flashlight. It has three, sh three clue or three supply, but we're gonna have to pitch one to make this a three again. So we're at four three. We can go 5-3 if we pr pitch are prepared for the worst. See how we do. Ah! Oh! Bravo, bravo, bravo. Elder Sign comes up right when we need it. That's a plus one for each damage. That gives us plus three. Hunted de our Obscuring Fog goes away. We get the clue. And we succeed. And we advance to the agenda, the investigate, to the Necronomicon. The investigators must decide, choose one. It's too dangerous to keep around, we have to destroy it. Or it's too valuable to destroy, we have to keep it safe. Well, Mark Harrigan is a s fighter. He's not a reader. Reading is for wusses. Reading's for all those bookish types. We don't read, we just burn. Burn it with fire and lots of it. So we will destroy the Necronomicon for R1. So we will end this uh, scenario with two VPs. Not a great deal, but uh, all things considered, we had to play, we had to take a lot of time playing around Beyond the Veil there to uh, shuffle our deck and make sure we had another whole round uh, with our deck, so we didn't get decked. Uh, that arcane, I think we probably could have, we would have had time to maybe get at least one more VP, but that arcane barrier pretty much put the kibosh on that because you're going to crisscross those museum halls a bunch of times, and unless you can kill that barrier, you're going to lose. On, like, I could have decked myself in three turns with that thing, so. All in all, I'm pretty happy with how things went, actually. That was 
the first time I've ever gone the uh, the Wallstead route, the breaking down the doorway, and uh, it would have been nice to have used his uh, plus to investigate uh, earlier. I'm kind of surprised you don't get him actually when you break down the door, but uh, because then you have to si circle back and try and clear these locations later. But uh, it is what it is. We got hit with a couple pushed by pushed into the beyond and. Uh, a couple of those crypt chills which really slowed us down a little bit but overall we uh yeah the hunting horror is such a pushover i i really do hope fantasy flight makes a uh a nightmare version of this quest like they have with a lot of the lord of the rings lcg quests and they they beef up the hunting horror a little bit because he's uh he's pretty squishy so that is going to do it for me today. If you enjoyed this playthrough, please leave me a thumbs up. It helps out the channel a great deal. If you'd like to uh, chat about this great game, please leave a comment down below. I always enjoy reading what uh, you guys have to say. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to be notified of when I release future content. We've got a lot uh, coming with the Path to Carcosa expansion uh, out and available. Um, if you'd like to contact me, I can be reached at manfromlang at gmail.com. I'm also on Twitter at manfromlang. Until the stars are right, keep your shotgun close and your elder sign closer. Take care out there and happy investigating.